now I don't know if I want to grow my hair out because like I'm looking at this but also looking like a teenage boy but like I don't look like a teenage boy right now I just don't mm, I just I'm probably gonna cut it again at some point <laughs> back again with another video. So as some of you may have seen, or actually a lot of you since it is my most viewed video, I cut my hair back in late August of 2021. Now as great as that hairstyle was, and as much as I loved that hairstyle, I like my long hair better. Like I know objectively I look better with shorter hair, but I just miss having long hair. I want the bob cut back. I want to be able to style it like I did when it was longer. Unfortunately, growing out hair takes an awfully long time. And in the process of growing out my hair, I have gotten a little bit antsy and I need something to do with my hair while I'm bored growing it out. So today I am going to show you some number of different ways to style your hair when you're trying to grow it out. I am just going to try every single hairstyle that I can come up with and editing Campbell can tell me what that number is later. Eight. It was eight. All right, so to start off with, I am going to curl my hair. And yes, I know this is not a curling iron, but I actually prefer using a flat iron to curl my hair. And by curl, I really mean give it more of like a subtle wave sort of a deal than like a really defined curl. So I'm just gonna section off my hair because I've got all sorts of layers all over the place right now. So I'm gonna just take the top layer, which is currently the longest layer on my head right now. Just twist it up and hope that it all stays up here. Cool, this is, a, this is the first style. <laughs> Now I'm gonna be completely honest with you guys, I've never actually tried to curl my hair at this length before, so we're, we're gonna see how it goes. It's gonna be okay. It's all gonna be okay. This might have ended abysmally chat. I might just have to end the video here. Why did I say chat? I'm not on Twitch. Chat, we're going on a road trip. All right, chat. Tell me how that looks. I genuinely cannot see how- I think it looks- okay-ish but i don't know that part's just i've got a bunch of parts that are just like sticking out and i don't know what to do with them you know if your hair has been bleached or dyed with a permanent hair dye or something using ammonia or even if it has any other sort of chemical treatment like if it's been permed or relaxed then heat styling might not be the option for you but this is mostly virgin hair except for a little tiny bit on the ends that has been bleached that being said if you're bored with your hair just try curling it or straightening it seeing how it turns out Okay, so this is my third time trying to record this and make this work. As I'm sure you can tell, the beautiful light from my window is now gone. But we've got our favorite hat. Hats are underrated. I've already had to say that twice to the camera, but we're gonna have to say it again because the recordings have been deleted. So I guess we are starting in reverse order because I am already wearing a hat. Beanies are your friend. They're super easy to throw on if you've got a bad hair day just throw it on and i personally love the aesthetic of the beanie as well you can also go a little bit cuter if the edgy look is not really your thing throw one of these on and this one especially is incredibly warm so my ears my neck the rest of my head that no longer has the hair that it had before is so toasty but yeah hats underrated wear more hats and while we are on the subject of covering up bad hair days we have this thing which i have had to tie and untie a bajillion times because of the deleted recordings but basically you take a standard bandana like this lovely one that we've got right here oh that is not the right way actually no i kind of like the wrong side better not gonna lie but basically you fold it across the diagonal like this and then you take it so that the longest side the hypotenuse per se is facing the front of your head and the right angle is facing the back take these ends behind your head and you tie them at the base of your neck 
and that's it. But this is a very simple, very quick, very cottage core thing that you can do with your hair if you've got a bad hair day or you're just trying to vibe in pretty much any season, this is your friend. And it can also be done with long hair too, so if you learn this, you can use it no matter what length of hair you have. Another variation of that is to take a scarf or a ribbon like this. And you can even do this with a headband, it would give a similar look. But basically, you just pop it over the middle of your head, tie it at the nape of your neck, and you are all set to go. This is a little bit more 70s, but still a very cute look. I personally am a fan of it. This was actually the first hairstyle that I ever did with my short hair. 10 out of 10 would highly recommend. I'm not actually sure if it's gonna work or not because my hair might not be long enough, but I'm gonna try pulling it back into some semblance of something. All right, did she make it work? Um, I don't know. I think that's up for debate. I personally like it. I personally think it's adorable. It's a little bit weird and like edgy funky. I personally think that this is absolutely adorable, especially with like the little curly swoop that I've got here on the front. So if your hair is long enough to pull back, I would definitely try a little bit of this action. And now we've got another classic, which is just pitting back one little side of your hair. So this first look is just three pins all in sequence. I am just using this pastel blue because I think that it's adorable. I love the color. I have them available. And if you want to make fun colored bobby pins, all that you need is just like some nail polish and some plain old bobby pins like this. They're really super easy to make. I would definitely recommend this. And you can do a bunch of other variations of this too. You could also do a single clip just back like that. I think that that is also very cute, but a little bit classier. Or if you even want to go a little bit cuter, you could take a bow like this and also pin it back like that like that. I think that this is really cute, really versatile, it keeps the hair out of your face a little bit. It's very good. And with that, I think I'm gonna end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you found this video helpful. I know that a lot of you probably came from my pixie cut video, so hopefully this video will help you out if you got your hair cut, like me, and you're trying to grow it out, and you are bored out of your mind with it like me. If you did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like down below, comment with any other ideas, and make sure to subscribe so that I can see you in the next video. Farewell.